Terra Luna is absolutely exploding right now. You guys are not going to want to miss this crucial information. Make sure you watch to the very end of this video so don't miss any of the news I'm about to tell you about Terra Luna. And make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And of course, also hit that first link down in the description below and get signed up with public.com. It's an amazing way to not only get part of an amazing brokerage app like public, but also start trading your favorite stocks and cryptocurrencies in a place where you can talk and socialize with other investors. You can see our personal portfolio on there. And when you use our link, you sign up, you could potentially get up to $300 worth of free stock when you use our link, guys. We've had people use that link and get Amazon stock before. Literally $300 of Amazon stock for absolutely free, no money in involved. And that's something that they could do. So if you guys want to try that out, hit that first link down in the description below. See what you guys can get. Either way, it's an amazing brokerage and you'll enjoy your time on there. I hope you will and we'll see. But other than that, guys, let's get right into this video. Alrighty, everybody, as you can see, this is the chart that we have been looking at of the last couple of months. Well, not even months, last couple of days. Last month has been a very chaotic month for Terra Luna and of course, Terra Luna Classic as well. But as you can see, this is how we're pushing up into those higher price targets and continuing to crush and dominate all of the goals that we continue to set. We're hitting higher prices and doing very well. Now, this is a stark comparison when you zoom out and look at what has been going on over the last month, as you can see, all the way back to May 30th. And again, this is only really over the course of a couple of weeks now. Terra Luna Classic has officially been launched and used successfully and effectively. As you can see, we have pulled back sub substantially from those original prices that we shot up at really right on the day that Terra Luna was listed essentially on most major oracles and exchanges. And of course, since then, subsequently has lost a lot of value. Now, we are starting to see a recovery here. It seems that Terra Luna Classic has bottomed at the 4137 level. A lot of people, myself included, are really wondering, when is this going to $1? Because that is really the most common thing that I keep hearing from people more and more and more. Is this going to a dollar? Is this going to be a Shiba Inu specific? specific situation or type of situation, if you will, where maybe it will go up there, maybe it won't. There's a lot of news and technical factors that need to go into it. We have to see, but we do have some news today, guys. It's not exactly the best news, but I do want to give a little bit of a silver lining to this. So make sure you watch the very end of the video so you don't miss that because I am going to actually give some good news about this that you might not really think about in the first place. But let's read about this and see what this entails. So the SEC or the Security Exchange Commission, which is basically a, if you don't know, if you're not from America or maybe you're from America and you just don't know about this kind of stuff. The Security and Exchange Commission is basically an entire commission dedicated to different types of investment frauds, making sure that stocks are on the up and up, making sure companies aren't, you know, of course, cooking their balance sheets, different things like that. But they are also now getting into crypto because, of course, crypto is an investment class, no different from the stocks in the stock market or bonds in the bond market and anything like that. But, of course, crypto is not really regulated yet. There's a lot of regulation that needs to happen in cryptocurrency before we can see major, major changes changes in this type of system. Now, as you can see, the SEC is investigating UST stablecoin blow up in fresh threat to Terra. Now, what they're basically talking about there is that because of what's been going on recently with Terra Luna and the, of course, subsequent blowback that we saw after the listing and just the crazy debacle that has happened over the last couple of months, uh, the SEC and other investigative authorities too, I want to mention, Why, by the way, Korea is actually another, or South Korean authorities, I should say, are also looking into Luna and more specifically UST. The project is under a lot of scrutiny and eyeballs right now by large government organizations and other other authorities as well. Now, you might be thinking, that sounds awful. That sounds literally terrible. This does not look like a good headline. How, how are we going to recover from this? I mean, like the SEC, they could be shut down for good, right? Not necessarily. Let's keep this in mind. There are other large cryptocurrencies in this market that you might be familiar with. One of them, in fact, we can go look at the ranking right now, is number seven as far as overall ranking goes, and that is none other than XRP. XRP is currently being investigated by the SEC as well. But guess what? they don't have much to go off of. Again, this and, and just it, this is a very like, you know, smooth kind of glazing over the top of things with the XRP lawsuit. Please keep that in mind. I know it is a very complex and complicated issue that I will and have in previous videos got into. But of course, just to give you a brief summary, that's kind of what's happening. They are also getting invested by the uh, investigated by the SEC. But one of the good things about this nothing's happening. No, nothing major has happened. And if anything, all signs are tending to point to, in this case of that lawsuit, a settlement, which typically means no judgment is going to occur and no major death blows are likely going to be exchanged with, you know, either or a party, right? So the SEC isn't going to maybe force XRP to shut down. 
the SEC or XRP isn't going to be forced to maybe, you know, do something else that the SEC wants to do. This exact case, I think, is going to probably what's going to end up being, in a sense, what is going to happen with Terra Luna. And the reason for that is because Terra Luna is, once again, this is a cryptocurrency that the only reason that it crashed out was because it was a, or not even Terra Luna, more specifically UST and then investor confidence tank. So that's why Terra Luna tanks. But UST was a algorithmic stablecoin. It got de-pegged from the dollar, and that is what, of course, caused the subsequent crash. The whole ecosystem came crumbling down in a matter of 24 hours. And the reason that happened is because of the original setup that it was on as far as the algorithmic stablecoin ecosystem goes. Now, in the future, this is what they're working on with the fork, which you may have heard of. We've talked about it in a couple of previous videos if you want to go check those out. But the fork is another very big deal because what that's going to allow Terra Luna and the overall ecosystem to do is push forward into these new projects and create more stable, more secure, and less vulnerable and less volatile volatile in general uh, ecosystems and of course assets that of course investors can also invest in but also take part in as far as blockchain development in the future of those projects are concerned. That is something that they are working on actively. And again, I think the SEC isn't really going to find much here, right? I think that, of course, uh, the pro that's looking into the marketing of the token, nothing. It, listen, as far as marketing goes, there are a lot of rug pulls out there that promise thousand hundred X returns with little to no investment up front. Those are out there, don't get me wrong, but Terra Luna was not one of those coins. This was a coin made it pretty clear about what you were going to be getting into as far as investing in that cryptocurrency and looking into it, right? So don't get me wrong, guys. Again, there's been a lot going on in the overall market. As you can see, as I'm scrolling through, tons of different cryptocurrencies are constantly shifting position in overall popularity, market cap, and a host of other metrics. But of course, what we know about Terra Luna is that there's still some things that are really left to be unsaid. We have more news to talk about in the future, and I think you guys are not going to want to miss that. So hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Pick up a free stock with that first link down in the description below at public.com and of course join our free discord and join our premium section with all our premium members and get our daily buy and sell alerts but other than that guys that's all i have for you guys today i'm kyle with finance bro take it easy